Three day, two D, one D. Yes, you heard that right. We are making a game in one dimension. We see three D games, we see two D games, but we never see one D games, right? It's it's a discrimination. What the hell? But before any of that, what really is a dimension? Let's put it in this way. A three dimension, we have three coordinates or three axes, x, y, and z. So we can move along these three axes. Two dimension, on the other hand, we can move on two axes, x and y. But for 1D games, uh, well, you can only move in one axis. So making a 1D game should be easy, right? You literally only need to make the thing go blah 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 blah. Yes! No! Looking from the thumbnail, you probably could tell that, um, actually you can't tell. Anyways, to make a game in 1D, I decided to use Unity. But bro, that's overkill. Why would you need to use a 3D game? Yes. Like I said earlier, one dimension means we only have one axis to move on. Which means, this is literally our world. Yeah, anyways, for a real demonstration, I will make a character real quick. So let's say that this red cube is the player. And we, as a player, we can only move in two directions, left or right. So we need to find a creative way to turn this simple mechanism into something that's playable, something that is fun, like a video game. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. I can turn this into like a shooting game, like in my notepad video. Yeah, let's start working. So I'll start by making the player having the ability to shoot. After a little bit of experimenting, I've successfully made the player shoot and moving left and right. So I'll move on to make enemy, which shouldn't be hard, right? It's a one-dimensional game after all. Um... So yeah, I've successfully made the enemy, which is not really that hard to be honest. And to make things a little fun, I decided to make a spawn system. So yeah, as you can see, I've so as you can see, the enemy have like some kind of random speed and random spawn rate which makes the game a little more interesting and hard to play. Hey, this is actually kind of fun! <laughs> yeah, so far our game starts to look like a game and pretty playable actually, but it still looks bad. Even though there is nothing much we can do to improve a one-dimensional game because there is literally only pixels, we can still try to play around with the colors and I'll try my best. Guys, 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 look at this, look at this. Here is the player. You see, it, it has a face and it has a clothes. It's, it's so cool, right? So after trying to make the game looks good, yeah, I think it is pretty fine. But, but, Cody, you know the rules of games. UI. Unfortunately, a user interface is two-dimensional. Therefore, we can add UI. 1D game is actually pretty epic. There are a lot of possibilities. It have the potential to be epic to be honest so yeah moral of the story what if there's humanity in one dimension and